Welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we're doing a prenatal Pilates class to prepare for an optimal birth and an easy delivery. We're gonna prepare our core and our body. We're gonna open our hips and get baby into the best fetal position. I'm gonna use a birth ball for the first three moves. However, I will give alternative options if you don't have a birth ball. All you really need is a mat or a comfortable floor to get down on. I will keep putting out new pregnancy, Pilates, yoga, and workouts every week. If you like videos like these, subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you're using a birth ball or a stability ball, you can go ahead and grab it now. Otherwise, you can stay standing. We can bring our ball sitting on top, starting with pelvic tilt. We're going to roll forward and then moving into an anterior tilt. Back and forth. Exhale, tucking it under. Inhale, other way. Do one more here. Good, we can go side to side now. Moving into circles, go as large as feels good for you. We're lubricating all the joints here. Switching directions. Last one, good. We'll come back up on top of our ball. We're gonna tilt to the side here, making room in our ribs, making room for baby. We lift up, stretching over deep breath into our side ribs here exhale use your obliques pull your body back up we can switch to the other side lifting up and over deep breath beautiful exhale we'll do one more time on each side Exhale up, lifting up and over. Exhale. We're gonna lifting our knees off now. So if you're feeling unstable, you might wanna be next to a wall or a chair, something you can hold on to. We're also gonna work our core here to help prepare for when your core is gonna help with pushing. So on an exhale, you can place your hands on your belly, exhale, pull your baby into your spine, and your fingers should come closer to each other. And then inhale, expanding into your ribs and back body all the way around, exhale, pull your baby in. This is also gonna protect our core when we're doing our next move. So we're gonna exhale, Pull your baby in and then lift one leg. Again, you can be against a wall, holding on to something if you're feeling unstable. Release down, inhale. Exhale, we're gonna lift the other leg. Hold, three, two, one, inhale. Release, beautiful. Again, hold, three, two, one, Inhale, switching sides, exhale, three, two, one, release down. We'll do one more on each side, exhale, lift, three, two, one, inhale, release, exhale, last one, three, two, one, release down we can place the ball to the side come to a standing position now 
you can mirror me turning to your right. We're gonna come to a lunge position, squaring your hip towards the side. We can bring our arms out to the side as well and using that same contraction, pulling your baby into your spine, we'll lunge down and then inhale, coming up. Good, let's do that eight times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Let's stay here. You can pulse. Beautiful release. Turning around to the other side, squaring your hips again, arms coming out to the side. Exhale as we lower down, pulling your baby in. Inhale up. Good, we'll do eight more. Eight, seven, squeezing your legs at the top. Six, five, four, three, two, last one, staying down, pulsing here. Releasing up, beautiful. Turning to the front, we can bring our hands to our hips. We'll do some sumo squats here. Keeping your body upright, shoulders relaxed. Four more. Last one, we'll stay down. Pulse here. Good, hold. We're gonna lift one heel up, switching to the other heel. Alternating back and forth. Placing both heels down, coming up. We're gonna move down onto the mat, onto all fours now. Making sure our shoulders are over our wrists, hips over knees. Pressing into your hands, we can round out for cat. Exhale. Inhale, slight arch looking up. Not letting your baby flop out though. Exhale, grounding, moving with your breath. Inhale, arch, one more time. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch, good. Coming back to a neutral spine, we're going to keep our spine stable and try not to rock back and forth. We're gonna lift in it to a fire hydrant, extend your leg behind, and then cross your inner thighs, bringing your knee to the other side of your body, extend and back down. So we'll do that again, keeping your baby pulled in, fire hydrant, extend, cross, extend, down. You can continue with your own breath.
Last one here. Let's extend our leg, pulse here, re-engaging your core, pulling your baby in. Beautiful, release down, moving to the other side. Fire hydrant, extend, squeezing both inner thighs as you cross, extend. Repeat with your own breath. Last one. Keeping your back leg extended, pulsing here. Good, bring it down. We can sit back stretching through our glutes. Take a breath. Switching to the other side. Coming back to all fours. We're gonna walk forward into puppy pose. This is a great position to get baby ready for birth. Slowly lowering your head down keeping our hips over top of our knees. Breathing into your side and back ribs. Exhaling, walking your hands back in. Curling your toes under, we're gonna lift our knees just two inches off the ground. Exhale, pulling your baby to spine. Lifting, we'll hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release down, big inhale to your side and back ribs. Exhale, re-engage, lift, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release down, good. Let's come up onto our knees. We're gonna move to a lunge position, but we're gonna turn our front leg out. We can lunge forward. Moving back and forth. This can be a great position if your labor is stalling, baby is mid pelvis, you're trying to get things going. Coming back to our knees, switching to the other side. and lunging back and forth. You could also do this standing, just placing your foot on a bed or a chair. Moving back to your knees. We'll come back to hands and knees. So when you are ready to push or your baby is nearing the outlet of your pelvis, to open the bottom of our pelvis, we can use internal rotation by bringing our knees together 
and our ankles out. We can also arch our back. This is gonna open the outlet, making it easy for baby to come out. So when you're feeling any rectal pressure or the urge to bear down and push, it's a good time to move into this position. It can also be helpful to use low toned sounds and to breathe down. So if you take a big inhale in, you can use a low vowel sound like ah, to help your body encourage your baby down and out. So ideally you don't wanna be holding your breath as that can cut off oxygen to the baby. So making sure that we're using exhales. If you're kind of grunting or holding your breath for part of it, that's okay. It could be inhale and then oh, you could be pushing and making sounds like that as long as some air is coming out. So getting in this position, practicing being on hands and knees during pregnancy is also great to get baby in a good position. But when you get to your birth, hopefully remembering that hands and knees or side lines are some of the best positions to be in. You're going to have movement of your pelvis and you're also using gravity and reduced risk of tearing. Let's grab a sip of water before we move into our side lying exercises. Let's lower down carefully on our side to protect our core, finding a comfortable position here, finding some lift through your side body so you're not just flopping. If it helps, you could roll up a blanket or a wedge underneath your belly as well. Let's keep our knees bent. We're gonna start with what I call peanut ball lifts, which is great for labor preparation as well. We're just gonna lift our knee and ankle straight up and down as if you're gonna be putting a peanut ball between your legs there. Perfect. Pulling your baby in. Let's do two more. Last one, good. Lengthening your top leg out, knee is facing forward. We're gonna do tiny circles forward. Trying to prevent our hips from rocking, keeping them very stable. Switching directions. Good. Now let's pulse up and down. We're almost done. Release down. Good. Let's straighten out our bottom leg and we can cross our top knee over or if it's more comfortable you can place your feet down. We're going to do some inner thigh work here. So we're going to lift up, down, up, down, Beautiful, let's hold up, pulsing here. Release down, good. Let's bring our knees back together and we're gonna open up into a clamshell position. But from here, we're gonna practice our internal rotation again, bringing our knee down and our ankle up, moving it back and forth. Keeping your hips very stable. Good. Two more. Last one. Excellent. You can give your hip a little bit of a rub here. Then you can either roll over or switch to the other side. 
Taking your time to move carefully, lowering down safely. Again, if you wanted to grab a blanket or roll up your mat or something underneath your belly to support it. Setting up for our peanut ball lifts. When you're ready, lift. Hips are stable, pulling your baby in. One more, good, lengthening your top leg, knee pointing forward, tiny circles forward. Re-engaging your core. Then switching directions. Good. Moving into tiny pulses, keeping the rest of your body as stable as possible. We're almost done with the pulses. Couple more. Good. Release down. Let's take a breath. Moving into our inner thigh work or adductor work. Again, you can bring your top leg across or you can bring your foot to the ground if that's better. And then we're gonna lift up down with our bottom leg. Let's keep it up. Pulse as high as you can. Beautiful, releasing down. Bringing our legs back together and then opening up for your clamshell, moving into internal rotation. Good. Keeping your hips stable so they're not rocking back and forth. Getting your ankle up as high as you can. Last one here, good, release. We can rub anywhere that's sore again. We can come on up for a figure four stretch. So you can do this on a chair. If you're on the ground, you can place your legs out in front. We'll cross one ankle over your knee and then you can just walk that bottom foot up. Sitting tall, finding length in your spine, releasing that knee down. Releasing into any places of tension. You can walk your bottom foot out, switching to the other side. Sitting up tall again. Relaxing through your hip. Just 
slowly releasing out of the pose. Let's come to a wide-legged forward stretch. You can bring your feet apart, doesn't matter how far they are apart, just until you feel slight tension, but definitely shouldn't feel any pain. We can sit up tall. If it feels good, you can move back and forth. Sitting tall, let's bring our feet together, releasing to butterfly pose. You can stay here in butterfly pose, or if it feels good to move into a yogi squat, that's also great for opening up your hips. So if you're gonna move into a yogi squat, you can come to all fours, tucking your toes and pressing into a yogi squat here. If your heels are popping off the ground, you can roll your mat or put rolls of toilet paper under them. Let's stay in either butterfly or yogi squat here for a few breaths. If you're in yogi squat, you can tip forward and come back to a comfortable seated position. We're done this Pilates class for the day. You did amazing. I hope that your body is feeling good and that you're feeling more prepared for your upcoming birth. Of course, I will keep making pregnancy, Pilates, yoga, and workouts as well as postpartum every week. If you like videos like these, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'm also going to link to my free resources for pregnancy in the description box below. I have an ebook on how to reduce and cope with pain during labor, as well as a pregnancy meal plan that I put together as a registered dietitian. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to link to the whole playlist of Pilates, yoga, and workouts. You can save it and come back to the different workouts whenever you like. I'm also going to link to my natural birth preparation playlist if you're hoping to prepare for a natural labor.